So welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is transform array by parity. In this question, we're given an integer array called nums. We need to transform it by performing the following operations in the exact order specified. We have to replace every even number with zero and then we have to replace all the odd numbers with one and then we have to sort the modified array in non-decreasing order, which is ascending order. And once we are done with these operations, we have to return the resultant array as the output. So let's take this example. It's a very easy problem. Here you can see that there are two even numbers. So we transform them to 0, 0. And there are two odd numbers. So we transform them to 1, 1. So it becomes 0, 1, 0, 1. But we have to sort it. So all the zeros appear in the front and the odd numbers appear in the end. Odd numbers in the sense the ones. So there are many ways to do it. Uh, for this solution, let's see. We don't definitely need to follow uh, these steps. I'm going to count the number of even numbers. In this case, it will be 2 and those even numbers are transformed to 0. So in our output, I'm going to fill the first two elements with zeros. And now the remaining elements will be odd, right? And those will be transformed to 1. So I'm going to fill them with 1s. Now let's take a look at the program. This is the return type, which is the transformed array, which we have to return as output. This is the function name and we are given the input array nums. So let's start off by creating our output. It's a array. I'm going to name it result. And this will also be of the same size of the nums array. I'm going to count the number of even numbers. So I'm going to keep track of the variable count. Now let's iterate through the input array from starting to end in the zeros index until the end length of the nums array. Now, if it is an even number, the current number we're iterating at nums of five. If it's even mod two, if this returns a reminder zero, then it's an even number, so count it. We don't need to count the number of odd numbers. We just need to know the number of even numbers. I'm going to name it even count. Let's name it to even count to be more specific. Now we have the number of even numbers and these even numbers are going to be transformed to zeros. So this will represent the number of zeros in our output array. So I'm going to keep track of an index which we are going to use to fill our output array. And until this count is equal to zero, we'll keep on adding zeros into the output. So until even count is not equal to zero, we keep on adding a zero at this index position into the resultant output. And for the next iteration, we have to increment the index variable for adding the next zero at the next index position inside the output. And we also have to decrement the even count. So now we have filled our output with the two even numbers for this example. And now we have our index pointing here. So we start a for loop where I will start from index where which is here now. And until it reaches the end, we fill the rest of the spaces with ones. So let's start a for loop where I will start from where index has stopped. So I will start from index until I reaches the end of the resultant array. And at res of i, set it to one. So this will happen until the end of the array and we fill the rest of the array elements with ones. And finally, outside this for loop, you can return the output array result. Now let's try to run the code. The test case are being accepted, let's submit the code. And our solution is accepted. So time complexity of this approach is big of n, where n is the length of the nums array. And the space complexity is big of 1 constant space, because we're not going to consider the return type as our space. So I'm going to consider the space as big of 1. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.